junkies you will. Lift it up on its head. Where's my bike? Fuck off. Oh, you swine! <laughs> 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 Your face! <laughs> <laughs> So the bike's all safe and sound. All lovely, all ready to rock. I've still got it. <laughs> okay, day two. Kev's got his bike, although he's lost a few years on his uh, on his life now, haven't you, Kev? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Ambleside today uh, was about twenty. About 23 miles, but 5,000 feet climb. 23 5, miles, 5,000 feet, long old climb, so it's going to be a bit more hiker bike, so um, we're all going to sweat, but the forum t-shirt is going to uh, soak it up nicely. Weather's looking really what good. About my, what about my get up? Pardon? What about my get up? Your dirt suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we get our kit back today, so hopefully um, we'll be able to actually... Travel a bit lighter. Yeah, because all of us, well, I'm slightly damp today, or moist from uh, yesterday, moist. but anyway. Uh, weather's looking fantastic, it's looking great, looking forward to it, so uh, let's get into it. Duke of Edinburgh? Yes. Yeah, happy days. Gold, gold, silver or bronze? Silver. Silver, you look old enough to do gold. Yeah. Have you got your speaker? It's off. Yeah. yeah, we forgot ours. So that's where we stayed last night, just pedalling past there. Big old climbs today. Oh wow. Look at this scenery. So I hope it clears a bit, which it's gonna, I think. It said it's gonna be fairly cloudy, but. Even so. I just don't realise this is in England. So lucky. So literally out the starter's gate. Straight into a brutal climb. But it's good. We're up. The pedals are spinning. It is. It's so beautiful up here. I hope that comes out on the right. So lucky. Keep saying it. It's incredible. It's bike, scenery. So as Paul just takes a piss, <laughs> we just come for the road down there. Short, sharp climb. So about halfway up now, halfway up the main mountain. There. Oh. Still got to go up behind us, but God. The piss. I'm just pointing where we're going. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> With your rhythm stick. <laughs> With the thing uh, that directs all it directs all men, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, I don't want to see that. <laughs> it's edible. Free mutton. Oh yeah. I've got any tissue. Oh, I've got here. But proper backcountry. Not liking it. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a tr trials run, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. Just got to watch. Oh, you got time? Yep. Sorry, did that whip you? Jesus Christ. Oh 
yeah, look at that. Leaving a little bit of a forest trail. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. I think holding on to it's even worse, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's easier. Pull a mountain goat. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to get it, Kev? I did that easier than last time. Better. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's a machine. Right, it's put gnarly rock climb now. Right, that was a really tricky climb. Slipping all over the place, just coming to the end now. Oh my God, I cannot imagine doing this on a normal bike. You probably end up doing so much walking. Top for a rest, I think. Oh, yes. This thing is unbeatable. Oh. It's not going to do it justice, but oh, scenery stunning. And in the distance, there's Kev it's coming up. Oh. oh, yeah. Woo! Yes. 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 Nice and refreshing. Really refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. It's cold. About uh, 10 miles in now. Um, been a really rocky, tacky climb. Uh, nearly lost Tony. Took a wrong turn. How can you lose I know. You know where he is from his location services. Yeah. yeah. Well, just look on Facebook where Tony is. Um, anyway, we've still got a little bit to go, so that's just up there. Yeah. So we've got to go up there and then we've come from literally uh, over there. So it's been, uh, it's been amazing so far. Weather's, uh, weather's lovely. Quick dip in the pool, which has been uh, all in the water. Uh, and then we're going to stop for a bit of lunch in about two hours. So, so far so good, but like literally the scenery is unbelievable. Uh, absolutely stunning and the bike's handling uh, great. Turbo's working really well, but sometimes it's a little bit too much on the power, but uh, we're learning as we go along. So anyway, let's get back up the hill. Oh wow. <laughs> Just take it easy, John. Is, it, is this down? Yes, no heroics, because fucking it's loose shit or have you? Yeah. Let's keep going down, space right? between yeah. one another, yeah? We're going to get a briefing from Paul for the descent. Paul, over to you. Right, that's it, that's the climb. Now, we're descending all the way down. It's like a boulder field with like baby head sized boulders that are really loose. So it's just, you can go fast, but you've got to check yourself. Yeah. And then it's all the way down to the bottom. We go for about two miles now, down. So what, what hill are we at the top of here? This, I think they call Rhino Pass. Yeah. Uh, and Rhino Pass is just around here. And then we end up in Coniston. Yeah. So we're going to have a nice cup of coffee. Nice cup of coffee. Yeah. Do you reckon they've got Wi-Fi down there? Or have you got, got messages all right? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought she sent you some love at the top of the hill. Holy <laughs> cheese. I like the air gap you've got in your lead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like about six yeah. inches before it's going to touch your head. <laughs> God knows yeah. what that's going to do in a fucking accident. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically Slow and said he's going to win this race, Paul. Yeah, yes. just, I mean, you can go at a pace, but when it's, you've got loads of them rocks together, it's so easy to want to turn over and push your wheel out of the way and then yeah. you go down. Ho oh ho!
that. So stunning view. Not that I can see it very much. Gotta keep your eyes open ahead. Pretty loose, but good, not going very quick, which is also good. One more coming. Thanks. John. That's fucking wicked. That was easier than yeah. last time. Yeah, it was, was, yeah. It's just it felt so slippery all the way down. I felt like I was going to lose it. Well, I brought one, Paul. I have to change it with you. I'll buy one at the shops when we get yeah, down. So we've got a bit of a puncher now. I don't think I have. A bit of in-trail... Uh, I want to make sure. In-trail repairs. Go. Okay, quick pit stop. <laughs> the Kev's tyre. Put the flask away. Yeah. All right. You need to put your clutch out, Kev. Oh, right. Stairs. Jesus, my brakes are faded. My brakes are faded. Big time. Can you smell them brakes? They're glowing, look, they're glowing, John. They're glowing. They're glowing. Oh, they just smell really behind you, Drew. It's honestly like a lorry just been braided. Yeah, look at them now. You don't want to put your leg up. Fuck. In, where are we, Coniston? Coniston. Coniston now, so about another 12 miles to go until uh, we get to the next place. Really nice hotel at the next place, but uh, beautiful down here. We ate at the Black Bull. What did you have, Kev? A bit of offal. A bit of offal. Yeah. yeah. A bit smarter salts. Kev's special bar uh, barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do it. Oh, look at that, sun's out now. Stunning. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.
coming into Ambleside now. That's where we're stopping for the night. I'll get my bike fixed. Here's the derailleur, bent the hanger. But oh, what a town. God, this whole place is just absolutely stunning. Middle of nowhere, and then just into this beautiful British town. Stunning. So it's had to come to Push Cartel, which is a little bike shop here. Uh, they fixed my mech hanger for me, and we got a new one from around the corner. And they're currently just uh, seating Kevin's tyre, so freaking lucky there that we managed to find a bike shop. But uh, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow, another big push, another 30 miler. So big one tomorrow, hopefully no more accidents. I uh, didn't get it on camera because it was uh, low speed on the road, but that's always where you get hit. Anyway, catch you in a bit.